So this is section 4.3, multiplication with decimals in pre-algebra. 4.1 and 4.2 went pretty quick. One video for each lesson. This one's probably going to take a little bit longer. There's a little bit more to it. Uh, one of the things that we're going to do is in multiplicati multiplicating, multiplication of decimals, we're going to use the x for the multiplication sign because dealing with decimals, if I were to use the time sign like that, it looks kind of funky here and it looks kind of like this is a decimal and just makes it look confusing. So unless we use parentheses and have something like 0.5 times 0 0.03 where that is the same as multiplication but not using a dot for the multiplication sign, we're going to use the x here just um, to make it less confusing. And that's all it does. It's not that anything changes, it's just that it will look a little bit less confusing. So in multiplication of decimals, you do not have to worry about the decimals lining up. So um, in this one here, they just happen to because each of the decimals only has one number to the right. And so you just 5 times 3 is 15. But where does the decimal place go? Well, what you do is you look at how many decimal places from the, from the right-hand side we go um, over to get to the decimal. So we, if we start here, we went one number over to get to that one, and I'll put a little one here. And then on the bottom one, if we start here, we went one number over. So we'll put a one there. We add those two numbers up and we get two. And what that tells us is the decimal place on the answer is going to be two numbers over from the right hand side. So one, two. So the decimal is actually going to go right there for point one five, and that always, always, always works. So if we have point uh, zero five times point zero zero three, and this is um, example number two, this one right here. Probably help out if uh, I get rid of some of this. So let's just do that. 0.05 times 0 0.003. Now, one of the things that's nice about multiplication is I can write it as 0 0.05 times 0 0.003, or I can write it as 0 0.003 times 0 0.05. Does not matter which way you write it. I prefer this way just because I like having the bigger number on the top because when I learn to multiply, I learn to multiply with the bigger number. Not the bigger number, but the, the number with the most digits on the top. So I always use this format. If you want to use this one, that's fine, but you're kind of on your own there. We're going to go ahead and use this format. All right, so we're going to multiply just like normal. 3 times 5 is 15. We carry the 1. 0 times 5 is 0, plus the 1 gives me a 1. 0 times 5 is 0. And then we go, uh, do this in white, 3 times 0 is 0. Remember, you come over 1. 0 times 0 is 0. And 0 times 0 is 0. All right, now remember what I said in the last one. We count how many digits we came over to get to the decimal place from the right. So in this case, it's 3. And in this one, it's 2. We add those up and we get 5. Well, let's go ahead and add these up. And we get 5, 1, 0, 0. All right, so let's count over five decimal places. So we start here. We go 1, 2, 3, 4. It says we're supposed to go over 5. And we only have 4. So what we do is we add another zero on there so that we have our fifth one. So we came over one, two, three, four, five. So add that extra zero there, and we have 0 .00015. So this is example three, and uh, I've already put it in vertical form there. And again, you could do 2.1 or 0 .07. They both have two digits, so it doesn't really matter which one's on the top. So 1 times 7 is 7, 2 times 7 is 14, 0 times 1 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0. Add those up, 
and I came over one decimal place there, and I came over two decimal places there, which means I have to go over three in my answer. So one, two, three. So I have 0.147 for my answer. And if you notice in the book, they put a zero in front of here just as a placeholder, just so that decimal right there doesn't look like a piece of dust or a smudge with your pencil or something like that. By putting a zero there, it's kind of saying, okay, this is a decimal right there. And it just kind of makes you aware that that's there. Okay, so estimating, we're going to just kind of skip that and uh, jump right over into example number seven, which is in combined operations. And in this one, we have 0 0.05, and they're going to multiply that by 4.2 plus 0 0.03. So again, PEMDAS says we're going to do this in the parentheses first, so we're going to take 4.2 and add 0 0.03. Again, addition, you keep the uh, decimals lined up, and I add and I get 4.23. Now I need to multiply that times that. So I'm just going to use this 4.23 that I have right here, and I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.05. So let's just look at that. And uh, so I've got 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11, carry the 1. 4 times 5 is 20, add the 1 is 21. I'm going to multiply those. Multiply those, multiply those, so that really didn't do anything, did it? So I have 2, 1, 1, 5. Now where does my decimal place go? Well, I went over two place values there, went over two place values there, so I have to go over 4 in my answer. So I go over four numbers, and there I am, 0 0.2115. And that's it. So let's jump to um, example 8. Um, that gets a little bit more tricky. We start using PEMDAS a little bit more furiously. 12 times 3.2, the quantity squared. So we're going to do the parentheses first. So we're going to take our 3.2 times 3.2 and get 4, 6, 6, 9, add those together, 1, 10, and I can look at that and say my decimal is going to go 2 over, so 10.24. So I've got 4.8 plus 12 times 10.24. I'm going to multiply these. So when I multiply those, I'm going to get, I've got a plus sign there, I'm going to get 122. 0.88. You can multiply those on your own, find out that that works. Add those two by putting them in rows together or vertical columns with decimals on top of each other there in line, and you get that for an answer. Okay, so um, gosh, the only thing that can get a little tricky here, and I guess it's not even tricky, is multiplying by negatives, but if you follow the rules, for multiplication of negatives, a negative times a positive is a negative, a negative times a negative is a positive, and uh, that should be it for lesson 4.3 in a little less than 9 minutes.